President Obama and his family have chosen a well-known and classic locale for their summer vacation next month, Martha's Vineyard, an exclusive island off the coast of Massachusetts. CBS News correspondent Bianca Solorzano has the latest on their plans. It's an island retreat beloved by the Kennedys, the Clintons, the late Walter Cronkite, and soon the Obamas. There's an electric excitement about it all. Julia Wells is editor of the Vineyard Gazette, which recently reported that the first family will stay at Blue Heron Farm. The 28-acre, $20 million enclave is located in Chilmark. The farm suits Obama to a T, with golf facilities, a pool, basketball court, private beach, and a rental price tag of up to $50,000 a week. The sense that I have is that this is more of a family vacation, stay home, get lobsters, mm -hmm. play cards with the kids. It's reported that Mrs. Obama could arrive first with daughters Sasha and Malia. The president will join them the last week of August. The Secret Service reportedly examined and rejected more than 20 properties before choosing Blue Heron. At one point, there was a concentration on Oak Bluffs, an area known for its rich black history. While they didn't choose to stay in Oak Bluffs, they're bound to spend plenty of playtime here. What did you think when you heard the news? Um, I thought, oh man, it's already busy on the vineyard. We, <laughs> it's going to be more busy. <laughs> Gino Courtney owns half a dozen shops in Edgartown. How much in general does business go up? Oh, probably another 20 percent. But not everyone will see a boom in business. Don Lambert owns a biplane tour company. During the president's visit, the airspace where he operates will be closed. We were annoyed at first. So while their visit may not fly with everyone. It's a privilege to have them here. The first family can expect a warm vineyard welcome. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, Edgartown, Massachusetts.